All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Jacare Souza and Darren Till. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it coming. Great punch. Nice one, two there. Lands a big right hand early. Nice look. These guys throw it early. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee lands there. So he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But, oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Oh, guys. Nice. Oh, well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now what you're looking for defensively. I mean, just masterful. The way he worked to that triangle choke was amazing to watch, and you could tell how high level a grappler this fighter is from his back. And you didn't even have to pay for your seat. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good here is Bruce Buff. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Vanderlei Silva and Shale Sonnen. You ready? You ready? Here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice counter left hook. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. 
Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. Yeah, and he's coming out down. swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> <laughs> so good. And they separate. Because when you start flailing around the octagon, know that the ref. Alright, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks and I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero? Well. I am almost certain that he's going to go back. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut later. Oh! oh he's got to get up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Left punch is true. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. There he goes, moves to his back again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight. As it looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh! He left him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Shale's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Silva. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. And now he's got that tight punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Vanderlei Silva. How good is that right hand? Ooh, some blood in and around the eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. Oh, round two winding down. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Bruce Buffer now with... It's a middleweight matchup between Luke Rockhold and Michael Bisping. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plans the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Blocks the shot. Nice one-two there. Right hand on point. Oh, nice punch there by Bisping. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Rocco? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times, what a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Now we're going. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Liver kick. Big off the punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this high... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Nice punch. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on the beach right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. Look like that. You are... Do you believe it? That's it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.